Hello everyone. So today we are going to see about the Spring Boot scheduling. So to execute a task simultaneously by the container without user interaction based on the period of time or point of time scheduling are used. So if you want to execute any task simultaneously without user interaction, then you can use the Spring Boot scheduling. So what is the period of time? So period of time means specifies the gap between two successive execution of the given task. And what is the point of time? Executing the task at a certain date and time. So to do scheduling right we have to write one method and that method should be public and it uh, return type should be void and it should have zero parameter and we have to apply the annotation and that is add the schedule or that method then this method will be called by container automatically so to enable the scheduling in the spring boot we have to use add the enable scheduling at the top of main class and in a, any spring bean class above the business method we have to use add the schedule and in at the schedule we can specify initial delay and fixed delay and fixed rate so let us see for example for this so here i am using sts go to the files we go to the new we have to go to the spring starter project and in the spring starter project we have to create a project so spring boot scheduling will take here a name then click on next and here we didn't require to add anything here click on finish so our project will be created uh, spring boot scheduling so you can see it is created now in the com.example for the demo this is the main and if you want to use the scheduling so we have to write here at the right enable scheduling otherwise scheduling will not work now here i will try to one method so create a package that should be test uh, test and right on this go to the new go to the class i will create here one class called test and uh, here we have to create a bean for that so we have to write add that component and i will give here a test bean now here we will create one method public uh, void do task sys trace control space enter now this suppose we have you have written the task in this two task and you have to execute that task simultaneously don't then how can we do that add the schedule and here uh, i will also print here new date that is new date control shift o we have to import what java.util.date now here i will write fixed delay that is three uh, three thousand millisecond then here what will happen after starting of the application this method first of all it will be executed right it will be executed then after gap of three second gap of three second again this method will be executed here then again the gap will be three second then again this method will be executed here so at the gap of three the uh, three second it will be executed why three because we have written here a three millisecond if you want more gap you can give, write here a five millisecond ten millisecond whatever gap you want right so now let us uh, see this by running the application do control f11 run as spring boot app click on ok right so on the console you will be able to see the uh, here we go first of all at the starting it is executed then you can see that the uh, gap between this is three second so here we go three second gap three second gap 29 to 32 three second gap 23 to 26 three second gap right you can see that so it will be go like this with the three second gap 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 now let me stop this so you can press here on this red button and it will be stopped now uh we know about uh, now this uh, fixed delay so let us see what is the initial delay now initial delay here i would write below uh, before this initial delay of thousand that is one second so what do you mean by initial delay so initial delay means after starting application after how much time this method this task we have to execute so let's suppose our uh, application started at 1942 colon 00 
then after one second you have to execute this task after starting this after one second we have to execute then we can give here a initial delay as a thousand milliseconds then this task will execute at after starting of application after one second so here will come zero one right so if you want to execute uh, this task after starting of application after two seconds then you can give here 2000 right now for uh, this understanding what i will do in this sys trace control space enter i will also print here a new date so for printing the starting uh, starting of the application date and time so control shift o import java.util.date let's save this now do control f11 so here we go starting of the application now 50 so initial delay why it is coming let us see so let me stop the application it is taking yes now here here is a console let me give here now here is a console so starting of our application that is spring boot uh, scheduling application dot main this this is printing at 1942 and 50 now <coughs> this <coughs> method is executing at what time 52 so uh, this uh, our application is starting at 50 second but this method is executing at after 2 second why because we have given here initial delay of 2 second so that's why here we can see the difference is 2 second and uh, after starting application it is taking a fixed delay that is 3 second 52 to 55 3 second 55 to 58 3 second then and so on so if you didn't write initial delay then what happened as the starting of the uh, this uh, application also this method will be executed so let us also see that so if i delete this initial delay and if i go here now i will do control f11 and here we go so you will able to see that now let me stop so here we go you can see that now the application is starting at same time and our task method is also executing at the same time you can see that because we didn't write here initial delay right so then later you can see that three second gap is coming so this is about the initial delay now let us see about the fix the fix rate so fix rate is same here we have to write fix rate now if i go here now control f11 here we go application starting at same time and also our apply this method is executing at same time and three second gap you can see that three second gap is coming 33 36 39 42 45 right and uh, if i give here initial delay initial delay fix fixed rate initial delay we will do here thousand let's save this now let's run the application control f11 here we go now here we can see the application is starting at uh, this 70 second but uh, the task is executing after one second why because we have taken initial delay as one second and you can see that three second gap is coming uh, after executing between executing right 
so fix delay and fix rate is similar but here let us see what is uh, the difference between them now we seen here we are getting same output for a fixed rate and fixed delay but now what i will do let us <coughs> delete this initial delay now here i will write try bar try block and here thread dot sleep i will do sleep and <coughs> here i will sleep for 2000 millisecond and here catch interrupted exception e e dot print stack trace right so here we have given fixed rate and we are slipping this thread for two seconds right now let us see what will be the output control f11 Here you can see the output let me maximize this let me take this below or here now let me stop this right so here this uh, task we have to execute after every three seconds but for in between tasks we have written here thread dot sleep and it will take two seconds so first it will be executed at 59 seconds then it will go to the 48 2 then after 0 5 0 8 and 11 you can see that here the time gap is how much three seconds even this task is taking two seconds the time gap is still three seconds you can see that three seconds now what we'll do at the place of fixed rate i will write fix delay now let us see what will be the output if i go to this main I will do control uh, control F11. Now here you can see that the gap is now five second. Here you can see five second. Five second, five second gap. So what happening here? You can see that let me stop first of all now uh, here first i will go to test so this will take how much two seconds and we have to execute this task at the fixed delay of three seconds so in the fixed delay it will sum of this that is three plus two that will be five so that's why it uh, here is coming five 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 second gap five so in the fixed delay this will uh, in the fixed delay this time will be also calculated and this time will be also calculated in between the task execution while in the case of fixed day fixed rate what we have seen for the same example it is taking only how much three seconds so in the fixed rate what will happen it will take the greater time that is the math dot max of execution time for method and fix rate time so in the fix rate it will ta uh, take the maximum of execution time for the method 
and fix rate time so in the previous uh, example here we test for fix rate at that time uh, what what was the execution time for the matter that is thread is sleeping for 2 and what was the fix rate time 3 so in between this maximum what is the maximum 3 is maximum that's why the gap was the 3 but in the fixed relay fix delay what will happen here will be sum of the fix delay time plus time execution time for method so here we can see fixed delay time is 3 and execution time for method is 2 so 3 plus 2 5 so 5 gap is coming 5 5 5 so in the fixed delay the time will be whatever the method execution time as well as this fixed delay time but in in the fixed rate the gap will be maximum of the execution for the execution time for the method or fixed rate time so we seen here the execution time was less so gap was 3 in the case of fixed rate now we will see if i give here execution time for method is greater than that will be came so if i go here i will do fix rate as 3000 millisecond and here i will do 5000 now what i will do i will execute this control f11 now see the output here we go execute again 30 53 58 next 0 3 next 0 8 second will come yes now let me stop uh, we have interrupted that's why we are getting error so don't worry about that we have to understand only the gap so 53 in 58 5 second gap 58 to 3 5 second gap 3 to 8 5 second gap so as we have discussed the gap is maximum of the execution time and fix rate time so the thread is slipping for 5 seconds and the fix rate time is 3 so what is the maximum 5 is maximum so here we go 5 second gap is coming while in the if i give here a fix delay so fix delay now let me execute this control f11 in the case of fixed delay this both will be added that is 5 plus 3 8 so 8 second gap will be there let us see it is coming 19 now next will be 27 second and after that 35th second here we go 30 27 now next will be 35th 8 8 gap will come gap of 8 here we go now let me stop this so here fixed delay this 3 second and here is a 5 second so this 2 will be added 5 plus 3 8 and 8 gap will come in the case of fixed rate whatever the maximum is there that maximum time gap will be given so that is the difference between fixed delay and fixed rate i hope you understood that so this is about we have seen how we can use at the schedule at the rate enable scheduling initial delay fixed delay and fixed rate so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel